my food blog is called Food Lust, and I talk about food in what some people might roll some really inappropriate ways. I really get into sort of the nitty gritty, like what do you crave and why do you love it and how does it taste and how does it feel and what's it like to be with other people while you're eating. Um, food Lust is entirely about celebrating food. It's about what people cook in their homes, what they eat when they're out with their friends, um, what their favorite things are, what my favorite things are. My interest in food was originally piqued by my mom. Uh, I spent a lot of time in the kitchen with her when we were little and um, she would always include us in what she was making. So I think being in the kitchen and being around food was really, that was really cultivated by my mother at a very early age for me. The meal that I'm going to be making today is a fresh corn and tomato pasta with goat cheese and basil. And it's nutritious because it's packed with two really great fresh vegetables that are also perfectly in season right now. So it's a great time to use corn and tomatoes. I figured why not use them both at the same time. Um, the goat cheese is great because it's lower in fat than a lot of other cheeses um, and not as many calories. About an ounce has about 80 calories per serving. And I'm using olive oil to cook my vegetables. So that's a monounsaturated fat, which makes it a little bit better for you than a saturated fat or an animal fat. The first thing you have to do is cut the corn off of the cob. So you just want to get a nice sharp knife and go down each side. This is a messy job, so you're gonna have little corn kernels flying everywhere. And then once you've cut all the kernels off the cob, you wanna turn your knife over and use the back of it to scrape down the cob and get all the milk out of the bottom of the kernel. Um, all right, so I'm gonna chop some garlic here. You just wanna lay your garlic flat, use the side of your knife, hit it. That smashes your garlic, so it's really easy to unpeel. It pops right out of its skin. And then you just wanna mince the garlic up really finely um, so that it's not big chunks because it's a quick cook sauce so we don't want like big pieces of raw garlic competing with the really delicate flavor of the corn and the tomatoes. Right, we're ready to start our sauce. About half of the garlic. There, that's the sizzle you wanna hear. That's when you know your oil's hot enough. Turn this back to low so that we don't burn our garlic while our tomatoes cook too. So you just wanna cook the garlic for like literally a hot second just to get the flavors going. And then you wanna add your cherry tomatoes, just roll them in the pan, whole like that. And they have some water in them. Hear that sizzle? The big ones are starting to blister, so that's a good sign. Now what I'm gonna do is deglaze the pan a little bit with um, some balsamic vinegar, about a tablespoon or so, like once or twice around the pan. Mm, you can smell the flavor coming off the pan. It smells so good. It makes the, your salivary glands get going. All right, now we're gonna add the corn. And you want about three ears worth. Mix that all up. And so we're gonna cover that and let it get sizzling again. And in the meantime, we can chop some basil. I'm gonna stack the leaves up, you know, like kind of in order or whatever, just inside of each other. This is a lot of basil, but what I'm gonna do is chop enough to go in our sauce right at the very end uh, to, to season that, and then also to put on top of our meal. All right, so then you wanna roll this nice and tight, as tight as you can, like a cigar, the long ways, and then just start slicing down the roll in little thin strips. And this is called chiffonading. Our corn sauce has been simmering away here for a minute or two. Now what I'm gonna do is add some basil. So that looks pretty good. Once you're, you just wanna heat everything through, get it incorporated, get the starches of the corn developed a little bit, and then you're all set. I'm gonna take some rotini pasta, just a big handful of that in the center of your plate. You wanna take some of your sauce, put that over the top, as much as you want, or as little as you want. Get some corn in there. You get to put the goat cheese on now. I'm gonna get about an ounce a person, so just scoop it out, and then this is where you get to get messy. You gotta get your hands dirty here, because you gotta crumble the goat cheese all over the pasta into little pieces. And what's really great about the goat cheese is it's gonna melt all down in from the heat of the uh, sauce and get nice and creamy. So here we have it, fresh corn and tomato pasta with goat cheese and basil. Buon appetito.